Hi, my name's Emma and I'm currently in my first year of postgraduate study in neuroscience. What I love about neuroscience is that the brain is such a complex organ, but this degree really breaks it down into all these different, really interesting components that you can kind of hone in on to choose your own field. I feel like you can't get this with any other degree at all, so if that sounds like you, then neuroscience is definitely the degree to study. I would recommend neuroscience to anyone who's got a really keen interest in how the body works, especially in regard to the brain. And also to anyone that's interested in some sort of like different conditions and disorders that can arise, because so many of these are in relation to the brain. Hi, my name's Liana Machado, and I'm the director of the neuroscience program here at University of Otago. If you find yourself fascinated by the brain, studying neuroscience may be the topic for you. The University of Otago is the only university in New Zealand to offer neuroscience as a major for undergraduate study. And we have some of the top neuroscientists from around the world researching the brain here at University of Otago. Something which surprised me about neuroscience was the actual extent of all the processes that have to happen in the brain just to do something like lift your hand up like this. I was also surprised by how many different fields of study that neuroscience kind of crosses into. And this is so useful because you can pick so many papers that are really like specific to your overall um, desires. Neuroscience is an inherently multidisciplinary topic. We have neuroscientists spread across the university in many, many different departments. Your path of neuroscience will be up to you. There will be core papers that you study that all students study, and then there's a massive amount of choice so that you can decide your own path. I, for example, am interested in studying the brain in humans. I was trained by neurologists and have an interest in studying how cognition works, how people think, and what happens when you damage your brain. Other people study the brain from a molecular level. What you decide is up to you. So when I graduate, I'm hoping to currently continue my research kind of aspect, but I'm also looking at getting involved in some sort of clinical neuroscience in my later life and using my knowledge to help people out. Studying neuroscience opens your job options up to quite a wide variety. Any kind of job that involves some sort of expertise in the brain may be suitable for you. Some people, for example, take a research path Brain research is massive around the world and there are many, many brain research related opportunities. Other people are interested more in the medical side, for example, selling equipment that involves the brain or involves expertise with the brain. Other people decide to go on for further study and may have an interest, for example, in neurology or perhaps taking an academic path like myself. Dunedin is an awesome place to study as well. It's not too cold, don't, you know, get over that. <laughs> um, it's a really great place to be and the student life is fantastic as well as the university itself, which is just amazing. So if you have decided that you want to study the brain, coming to University of Otago in Dunedin is definitely the place for you. On the one hand, it's literally the only place where you can do an undergraduate degree in neuroscience, but also it's the absolute best place to research the brain. So I encourage you to come here to University of Otago and study the brain with us.